For the next 25 hours, the best AI tool for building apps and websites without knowing how to code is 100% free. And on top of that, they're giving away more than $75,000 in prizes for people that go and build apps and websites for the next 25 hours. And there are only 200 people that have submitted projects right now, so I would strongly suggest that you hop on this. Now, in terms of how this competition actually works, here's what you need to know. Lovable right now is 100% free for this weekend. You can even select between three different AI models. Models. You could see how Anthropic lines up against Google, lines up against OpenAI. And the best part about this is that this will not consume any lovable credits and you get access to all of their different features and you can participate to win over $75,000. Now, if you want to learn more, literally just come over here and you will be able to read more. As we could see, more than 415,000 prompts have been done with OpenAI, 422,000 with Anthropic, and 200,000 with Gemini. And as we could see here, there were 71 projects with OpenAI, 118 with Anthropic, and 44 with Gemini. And what you are going to notice is that that represents a huge opportunity for you because you could literally make tens of thousands of dollars in the next 24 hours by participating in this. And we could see that they have a $25,000 challenge and then they have a $40,000 challenge where if you build an app that pushes AI's limits with Lovable, mainly using the top three models, there will be $10,000 winner per model category. Now I want to show you this right here. Gemini only has 44 submissions right now. You have really good odds of winning this if you come over here and build something with Gemini, with OpenAI, or with Anthropic. In fact, I would strongly suggest that you end up doing it with all three of them. Now, all you have to do to use Lovable is literally just come over here and you could get started with this by simply typing in a prompt. You tell it exactly what type of app to build or what type of website to build and it goes off and it actually does that. In addition to that, if you come down here right now to learn to master Lovable, and I probably would suggest that you do this, you could watch these few videos right here and learn exactly how to use this tool in a really, really short period of time. But again, I just wanted to show this to you. So let's say that we come Come over here right now and we could see that you could choose right here you could build for free or you could use your credits now like I shared with you before, I am going to go through and actually build something for free. I'm going to try Google, I'm going to try OpenAI, and I'm going to try Anthropic for doing one task so that you can actually see which one is the quickest, which one is the best, and all the different quirks and different features that actually come with using these three models. But before I did that, I wanted to show you exactly how Lovable actually works by just building out a simple landing page. So. What I am going to do is I am going to come over here and we can see down here that there are a bunch of different things in my workspace right here. Or if I come down here, we could see things that are actually from the community. Now these things from the community are really cool because you can preview them or you could remix them if you wanted to. For example, let's say that I come over here and I really like this right here. I can click on remix right here and I can create my own version of this right here. And you will see that Lovable is actually going to open this up and I am going to be able to remix this website right here. And there are literally tons and tons of different websites on here that you can do this with. Now, if we come over here, what we're going to be able to see is that this pulls up this website that was created. I can click on edit and I can come over here and edit anything that I want to. I could click on chat right here where I could just chat with the AI model without it making any changes or I could ask Lovable to actually change things right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and say, please change all of this for a wilderness themed house. Now what I'm gonna do is come over here and say something like, please change all this for a wilderness themed house. Now what this is going to do is this is going to transform this. This was for a seaside resort theme, but I wanna change it to a wilderness theme. And as it's doing that, I'm going to open up another tab on Lovable right here. We're gonna come over here and I'm gonna show you what it looks like to just build something regular. So I'm gonna say, please build a really modern landing page for my AI agency. Now, 
this is going to go through and actually do this. And I'm just gonna use the paid credits for this one just to show off what this actually looks like, again, so that you can see what the process actually looks like here. So we can see this is going through and this is building this. And by the way, I do have one correction for what I said earlier. You could build for free for the next 36 hours, but this competition, you need to submit within like the next 25 hours or so, whatever it says on the website at the time of you actually viewing this video. So as we can see over here, this is coming through, this is working through remixing that other website that we had before so that we could change it to be wilderness themed. And if we come over here, we'll see that this is actually going through and building out a website for a modern landing page for my AI agency. Okay, now, as we can see here, literally instantly, this just transformed this from like a resort beach themed website to escape the wild. This is now a mountain wilderness lodge. So we were able to remix the thing that exists before. And now we created this brand new website almost instantly. It took almost no effort. So now if you have something that you like, that you find within the community, you can literally recreate this for exactly what you want. So you take the theme and this takes way less work. It literally took like 30 seconds for this to happen. And if we come over here, we can see that I built this AI website right here. And again, if we wanted to change anything, we just come over here, click on edit, we point to the thing, tell it what to change, and it will only change that, unlike most other AI tools that literally will rebuild the website. And then every single time you have all these new issues that pop up. And by the way, if you haven't already, you could go to the pinned comment below and get started with Lovable right now for free. Remember, the $75 $5,000 at stake here, so I would strongly suggest that you participate in this over the next day. Okay, now here's the test that I wanted to run in order to see which one of these models are the best. So this is going to be the prompt right here. Clone this website as closely as possible. Please make sure all the photos that you display match the vibe slash feeling for what the name slash description of the properties are on the home page. And then we're going to give it the Airbnb link. We're trying this in this tab right here with Google. Now, if we come over here, we are also going to try this with Anthropic, and then also I'm going to try this with OpenAI. Now, if you get this error right here that says we are currently under heavy load, please try again later. I would just try to click it again. I've seen that happen a few times. And literally, all I had to do was just click it again. Now. As we're going to see here, this is going through on Google and this is beginning to work through this. This is going through on Anthropic and this is beginning to do this. And this is going through on OpenAI and this is beginning to do this. And as we can see with OpenAI, so far this is the quickest. So this says this is a perfect project for visually impressive. And then it goes through design and structure notes. It goes through what it's going to recreate in the first version and gives us styling and then also gives us different files to modify right here, which is what it's it's actually going to build out. Now, if we come over to Anthropic right here, we could see that this hasn't even started yet, but it's still spinning up the preview. And then if we come over to Google, we will see that this is also working through. It says, says of course, cloning a beautiful and complex website like Airbnb's an exciting challenge. I'd love to build the first version for you. Now, the first thing that I wanna call out is that Google is giving us way less information here than OpenAI gave us over here. This gave us design and structure notes. This gave us what it's going to do and also gave us styling right here. Now, what you will notice though, is that Google was the first one to get done right here. So if we come over here, we could see that this has done a pretty good job over here of actually cloning Airbnb. If we pull up Airbnb's website, we're going to see that this is what it actually looks like right here. So this did do a pretty good job of actually cloning this and making a very simplified version of this. Now, it did give us the wrong name right here and the wrong logo. It typically does that to be completely honest with you. One thing that I am pretty upset with though, if we look at this, we are going to see that this didn't actually follow my instructions and put the photos that I actually wanted here. Now, this does look pretty good and we are going to see that I don't believe I will be able to click on anything. So none of this right now is functional yet, but this did go through and actually do a very good job of actually cloning the UI. Now, if we come back over to Anthropic here, we're going to see that this still has not done anything. So I am going to try posting this prompt in here again to see if we can actually get this going over here. Now, if we come over here, we're also going to see that ChatGPT is now done. It's going to take just a second for my computer to actually load this up. And let's see what this actually looks like once this loads everything up. So 
When we come over here, we could see again that this did a better job. This actually put the Airbnb logo right here. We could see that this is a nice touch with the name here. We could see that it actually doesn't though have the ability for us to be able to choose different dates and stuff like that. And for some reason, it looks like these photos aren't loading. So I'm gonna say, please load the photos and then let's see whether or not this actually does this. Now, for some reason, this did switch to Anthropic, so I'm gonna switch this back to OpenAI right here, and I'm gonna get this to change this, uh, but otherwise, we could see that Anthropic now, after prompting it again, is actually beginning over here to go through and actually build this out. Now, again, like I said, Google gave us the least amount of instructions here from what I could see, and it didn't actually follow what I wanted with the photos, but overall, I would say that this did a pretty good job of actually coding this website. We would just have to come in here, click edit, and we would have to change the logo over here, and we would have to go through and actually make this functional, and we can connect this to Supabase so that we have some sort of backend here, and if we wanted to, we could come over here and we could actually publish this. If we wanted to, we literally just click on publish, and and we could download this as a lovable app right here, or we could add a custom domain if we wanted to right here. Now, if we come back over here with Anthropic, we're going to see that this did a much better job of this to some degree over here. So this did a pretty good job, I would say, but there are some things that do look a little bit off. For example, this doesn't look like Maui, Hawaii. Um, this does look like Portland. This does look like San Francisco. So this did a pretty good job to some degree right here. Um, I really like this that they built out here because this just looks a lot better than what we got from ChatGPT. And if we come over here, we're going to see that this still is not loading up these photos here for some reason. Um, so if I had to, let's say preview latest, we could come over here. Uh, now using the best matching placeholder. So this still isn't showing. So if I had to grade this right here, I would say, quite frankly, that Anthropic did the best job. There are still like two or three photos on here that aren't loading, so we're gonna have to come over here and edit these, but this did the best job of actually building this out getting the logo right, or at least getting the name right, and then also matching up these photos to some degree. Now, of course, this was literally just a single prompt challenge that I tried all three of these with. So if you are going to be entering this competition, what I would strongly suggest that you do, again, if we come over to Lovable right here and we actually come into this competition, I would say that I would strongly recommend that you enter the Google one I would also do the OpenAI one, and quite frankly, I would do the Anthropic one too, because still, there's not that many projects that have actually been submitted here, and I think that this is a massive opportunity for you. But I think of all of them, I think Google has probably the biggest reward because there are only 44 projects submitted, so your best odds of actually winning this are going to be going with Google. If you like this video, you should check out this video right here that shows you 10 hidden features that ChatGPT has that I can guarantee you probably haven't seen before. I'll see you over there.